Hello friends, today we are going to study about how to find square root of decimal numbers by long division method. Look here, there are two decimal numbers and we are going to find the roots of these two numbers. What we have to do? Look at the numbers I had made arrows like this. So we have to make pairs of two numbers. But before decimal we have to go like this and after decimal this two two pairs and before also if one number will remain then also it's okay but in afterward means after decimal one letter will not be okay we have to put zeros in the place of or nothing is given so zero we will put here come on now we are going to solve it four four is a perfect square so 2 into 2 gives you 4. Here also 2. 0, 5, 6. Now we are going, we have to add this. In 4 multi, 41 into 1, 42 into 2 will be 84. So 84 will be greater than this. So 41 into 1, 41. Again, subtraction. 5 1 41 plus 1 42 then decimals and 41 so we had taken 1 now decimal we are taking number after decimal so we again we have to put a point on the upper side now 4 2 4 2 1 into 1 4 2 2 will give you 8 then 3 is a 12 so 4 4 is a 16 will be higher than this so we will take 4 2 3 into 3 it will give you 9 3 2 6 4 3 12 so here yeah, 3 and subtraction 18 minus 9 9 0 3 4 2 6 if you want to take two decimals then you can solve further Thank you. Now we are going to solve the second example. 2. So 1 into 1, 2. If we will take 2 into 2, it will be 4. So 4 is greater than 2. So we have to take 1 into 1, 1. Sorry. Yeah. So 1. Then subtraction 2 minus 1. 1, 3, 4. Addition of this 2. Now 2 5s are 10 so I think 2 6 2s are 12 but number is will be here also I think 25 into 25 125 and 26 will be greater than 6 so we are taking 25 into 5 and 125 subtraction 9 okay and here 30 so 9, 5, 0. 3, 3 is a 9. I think okay, it will be okay. 3. We will take 3 into 3. So after decimal, after decimal number we have taken. So we will put decimal point here and then divide. 3 into 3, 9. 3 into 0. 3, 3 is a 9. So remainder will be in 1 and 41. The addition of this. 3 plus 3 is 6, 0, 3. Further, I had taken two zeros. If we want to find more decimals, we can still carry on this and take one more decimal or two decimal or three decimal, whatever you want to find it out. So this way we can find out the square root of decimal numbers by long division method. Thank you.